Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look. Let's see what's manifesting for you all. Any messages or advice? Who or what is showing up around you? What you need to know. As always, take what's resonating and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually golden on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website spirituallygoalie.com for you to view the different options for readings all right Taurus let's see mm. you're very protective of your energy right now like you have kind of, I'm, pick, I'm seeing you stepping up or leveling up in your life right now. And you're being very mindful, very demure of you <laughs> to not allow just anyone into your field and not allow just anyone into your energy. Okay. There is some sort of boundary that you're putting here in order to preserve your success, in order to protect your, your, your own goals and the people or somebody who you really care about. It feels like you're, a part of you feels like not only do you have to protect yourself, but you have to protect the people that you care about right now. There could be some sort of uh, separation or divorce happening. And so you are finding yourself kind of it's coming to some sort of agreement that does look like there's uh, a fair outcome for you or you're, you're getting you're getting something fair here. But at the same time, you feel as if you need to be very protective over um, information over things kind of coming out or what you know and still very and still feel like you need to kind of pr protect the people that you care about from um things that are kind of changing right now you're you're in the process of you're in the process of making a plan here and it feels like you are protective over this plan it's not so you're not just telling anybody about your future plans um and this is how you're finding success it's it's you keeping cert like certain information for yourself before it actually becomes a reality or you're being called to keep some information for yourself c create some sort of boundary here because there is going to be an expansion there's there's some sort of expansion happening in your life right now that feels like it's karmic justice. But you're being called to take action. And kind of stepping out of your comfort zone here. With this three of wands reversed. This is kind of showing me that. You may be going back and forth on certain decisions. That are going to lead to a really fair outcome. But there's something holding you back. What is it that's holding you back? The world. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like something needs to complete itself or you're waiting for something to kind of complete itself here for you, a certain chapter to end in order for you to take action towards this new chapter in your life. One that you genuinely are feeling called to move towards. One that you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities about. Okay, so you are getting signs. You may be seeing lots of um, synchronicities, 222, 333, 777, 77, 66, picking up. So I'm picking up that you're also, you're also very 
in tune with the universe, with this telepathy, you're going to be receiving a lot of information that is meant to help you progress in some way. Tell me about this telepathy. I feel like you're having telepathic communication with someone here. And you're rejecting it. Interesting. So, Taurus, it looks like you're... Like somebody is has been trying to get into your energetic field. Um, but they're coming in with a lot of negative emotions. Even if it's not like manifested in a physical reality, you're picking up on it, maybe telepathically, or your guides are bringing you downloads and you're rejecting it. <laughs> you're rejecting someone's like, someone's advances to you, especially if this is somebody who is spiritual and this is someone who maybe is trying to manifest you back into their life, you're rejecting it. Or you've just uh, rejected somebody, somebody's negative energy towards you. You've, you're, you've literally protected yourself or your guides have protected you from someone breaking a hole in your bubble. Oh, justice. Tell me about this justice. What is this justice about? Ace of Wands. Ooh. And the star. There is justice coming into your life that is leading you to healing. That's leading you to finally being able to let go and heal a situation. To start a new exciting beginning in your life. Feeling re-energized. Um, for some of you, there may have been a legal process going on, especially because I'm picking up on divorce or any anything legal that ha maybe has been kind of in the process, in, in some sort of process here that's led you to a lot of hurt and pain. A decision is f being made final and it's allowing you finally a time to heal. A time to heal, a time to reorganize, replan your future okay now what is this five of cups someone is really feeling sadness what is this sadness over seven of cups okay seven seven so someone is feeling a lot of confusion and sadness over Things being challenging between the both of you and, and feeling rejected by you or like you've kind of closed yourself off to them or even opened up to other possibilities and other options in your life. Someone is, is now feeling like maybe they need to let you go. Right? They're in the process of letting go. They're in the process of um, trying to accept something that is difficult for the both of you. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, Taurus for the rest of the month, the person on your mind. King of Cups, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, interesting, High Priestess as well. Someone has a lot of emotions or is feeling very um, emotional towards you and the situation for you, but in a good way. So you have someone here who is oh what do we, we have another card underneath so king of pentacles we have someone here who may be very in their masculine energy is not so they're they're not so expressive with these emotions though especially with this high priestess they are keeping a lot of information secret their intentions is to kind of keep something secret, to keep something, uh, to keep these emotions that they have toward to themselves. They're seeing you as a light. They're seeing you as a sun. So they're seeing you as somebody who brings out a lot of happy, 
happiness within them. They see you as somebody who walks into a room and you just light up a room. And you're in the process of, process of freeing yourself right now. And so they feel as if they need to keep something, keep information secret or just observe you, observe the situation and, and kind of be quiet and to, to listen to their intuition on whether or not to make a move towards you or to take actions here. Okay. They want to make a move towards you. They, this is showing that they do want to take an action in order to see you face to face, to solidify these emotions or to solidify that there's some sort of connection there between the both of you. What is this that they want to keep secret? Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. Okay, so uh, lots of cups. So this is somebody who definitely is keeping a lot of feelings hidden. They're keeping a lot of feelings hidden. But I do see this person as wanting to bring things to light with you, making a move in order to uh, express to you how they've been feeling now that there's now that you are freeing yourself from a, a, a different situation by the sun that's how they see Taurus yeah they see you as uh freeing yourself from another connection so you're dealing with somebody here who's had certain emotions towards you while you were in a connection with someone and now they're seeing you free you you finally being free or you are in a better place you're happier and they've kept certain feelings hidden and now they want to reveal it to you okay what about this two of wands you have a choice to make what is this choice to let go of of a burden Feels like something has been really hard for you for a long time. And, but not for long, not for long. A burden is being taken off of your shoulder, but it's a, it's a matter of you taking action towards delegating or letting go and moving towards something, something different making a choice to move forward, to move on. What else? What, any surprises here for Taurus surrender? Okay, so you are going to unexpectedly let something go or surrender to to what surrender to what a toxic connection a toxic relationship letting go of something that has been really heavy for a long time some of you you maybe never had expected or thought that you would ever let this go and there could have even been a, an affair and you're suddenly going to make a decision or find the courage and to stand your ground, follow the signs that you're getting. And this is the moment your life is progressing, is going to progress here. You are letting go of a burden and making a final decision. You're making a final decision that's going to bring you a lot of karmic rewards i'm seeing the number is 11 5 7 2 3 those numbers could be synchronicity special days i'm seeing letters t l e d c j i'm picking up on the letter j but with that said this is what i'm seeing if it resonated let me know 
if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you and your patience and i hope you have a blessed rest of your day bye